It's a big night for the Kent Kings playoff action in the National League semi-final first leg against the Coventry Storm. Weather couldn't be better. Teams are at full strength. Let's go meet some of the riders. <laughs> um, Oliver, this I think probably is your favourite track. I mean, I make it, you've got 11, 11 heats unbeaten here. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily say it's my favourite track. Yeah. I just seem to gate when I'm here. I don't gate anywhere else. But hopefully I've uh, I bought my gloves again like last week. But I don't particularly love the track for any reason. It's just, uh, I suppose, I just gate occasionally. Um, team actions tonight. When these two teams met over the league mm. program, one point between them, and every point's going to be vital tonight. Isn't yeah. It? Well, I mean, when we came here, I broke my collarbone the day before at Newcastle, so we came here with half a team, and I think they were still in a shout of winning uh, up to heat ten. So. We we'll just look to keep it close tonight and uh, look forward to our home leg and and then uh, as long as it's tight and and uh, it's reachable, the points. It's uh, no reason why we can't win it and continue. It's uh, well, it's what it's what they'll aim to do. And it's what we aim to do. Sure. I saw you out there walking around with the boys. I mean, what was the uh, the main topic of conversation? Not a lot, really. I mean, yeah. kicking the track, pretending we know what we're on about. Um, <laughs> Mostly talking about the PLRC actually and antics that go down there, but but now nah, just Lance just said that keep it close here and then uh, can win and we can win anywhere. And I think we proved that a lot this season, uh, especially at the start. But I think injuries have uh, have messed messed us around a bit and like coming here without Stefan. But R and R's all right. Everything takes right except me, which I don't like as much because mm -hmm. I don't get extra rides, but. But now nah, I think they've got a good chance. Just got to keep it close and and push them all the way. Really, it's a playoff, big meeting. I mean, you are so laid back. I mean, but how easy is it for the whole team? Just treat it as just another Monday. Yeah, I mean, well, I do. I was at work at half five this morning, so that that soon puts your mind off things, really. So just uh, go ride your bikes and enjoy what you do and do it to your best when you enjoy it so if you've got the natural ability that's all you all you got to do is just get on the bike relax and uh, and turn left really thanks oliver have a safe one cheers thank you well simon big nights arrive coventry in the playoffs any playoffs going to be tough but uh, coventry and yourself was very close over the two meetings in the league yeah and i think when we went to coventry i had a bad night i got about seven uh, Benji had a wrist problem at the time. Uh, I think we had Luke Harris in the team then, and we've got Jason Garrard now. And Garrard and Anzi, they're getting better every meeting, every race. Um, and Jason's quite local to there. So I think, to be honest, we got the best draw we could have got in the playoffs, getting Coventry. I think we're more than capable of beating them over two legs, 100%. Um, so yeah, the track looks slick. It's always slick here, you know that. But I just said to the boys, you know, I think realistic target, 15 points. That's what I want to take. And I said, to be honest with what I said, I said, even if we make the final and we get a runners-up medal, at least we're there. Do you know what I mean? You don't get anything for losing against Coventry. So, so yeah, I think, you know, everyone's up for it. We're all looking forward to it and uh, see what happens on the night. <laughs> Any key areas you look at, you know, maybe the bottom ends of the team or is it just <coughs> go out there and beat everybody on the line? <laughs> I haven't even looked at the team too far. I know they haven't got Nielsen, so I think they've got OR for them. Yeah. Um, you know, Ollie Green was pretty good round here, but at the end of the day, we're not, we're not bothered who we're against. At the end of the day, I said to the boys, we've done enough laps around here all year, some more than others. You know, I don't feel I've ridden here that much, but, you know, um, it doesn't matter. Obviously, reserves are always crucial. We've, you know, if somebody's not going good, throw a reserve in. You know, you've got to be in it to win it, and you've got to be hard on some people sometimes. Um, but that's up to John and Chris to do, but I say realistically 15 points is the target and um, you know, as long as we go there with a lead, it, it's something, um, so yeah, to see what happens. Can the crowd play their part tonight as well? I mean, they've been behind you all season, eighth man. Yeah, exactly, you know, um, the fans have been brilliant here, I mean, um, you know, they support the boys home and away everywhere you go, obviously you've got the whistle gang as well, <laughs> shouting and the banners and that, fantastic, you know. People think it's probably stupid and immature, but, but we all love it, you know. It's uh, When you're on that start line and there's three of the bikes and you can still hear the crowd shouting for you, you know, it, you know, it does you know, give you a few shivers on the neck and that. And it, it's nice, you know, it's good. And, it, you know, the, the, 
we want to win because we want to win and we want to win for them as well, you know. So I don't like losing, nobody likes losing. If you like losing, you shouldn't be in this sport. So eighth man's always, always key. Great. Thanks, Simon. Good luck, my Cheers. Cheers, Simon. Well, we've heard from Oliver Greenwood and Simon Lambert. Time to go up to the box now and commentary from Steve Gurmwood. Well, thanks for that, Pete, and thanks for filling in this evening. Our normal interviewer, Glenn, away on honeymoon. Would you believe he wasn't to know, of course, that uh, Kent would qualify for these end of season playoffs when he booked his uh, wedding? So you can't blame him for that, I don't think. Or his lovely bride, Chelsea the Kent side here tonight, Benji Compton at 1, Aaron Baysby at 2, David Mason at 3, Ben Morley at 4, Simon Lamb at 5, Jason Garrett at 6, Danny Evers at 7, Roger and Len no doubt still mulling over the uh, planning application which didn't go their way on Thursday for Coventry, Oliver Greenwood at 1, Luke Priest coming in at number 2, ride replacement for the injured Stefan Nielsen at 3, Daniel Greenwood at 4, James Sargent at 5, Ryan Terry Daly at 6, Martin Nucky at 7, Ellis Perks at number 8. Action up next. So here we go then, heat number one of this uh, National League playoff semi final. First leg, of course, the two teams will be meeting at uh, the Brandon Stadium in just under a fortnight's time for the uh, second leg. Kent obviously be wanting to open up as big a lead as possible. The uh, two teams will they uh, finish second and third in the uh, National League table behind uh, Cradley. Kent just a point behind Coventry, Mildenhall the other side, of course, Craigley picks Mildenhall. Heat number one is about to get underway, Chris Gay, the referee in charge, we've got Benji Compton, Aaron Baseby, Oliver Green with Luke Priest takes fly up, and into that first turn with a good start by Aaron Baseby off gate number two, but not by Benji Compton, but Baseby is who leads the way. Oliver Green, good, well he's only back in third, he's been unbeaten in his last 11 races around this circuit, the British under-19 under champion, of course, he's crowned here just seven short days ago, but he's only back in third in his opening ride. This will certainly please the Kent fans, a bigger than average size crowd here tonight for this fixture, as Aaron Baysby is a lead away, terrific stuff by Aaron. In second place, a good ride by Luke Priest, Greenwood in third, Benji Compton, he's struggling at the back, he got to six points at Kings in a couple of weeks ago, which cemented Kent's place in the playoff finals where they won by 46 points to 44. Now Aaron Baysby in that meeting, he was on a pre-planned holiday, but he's come back refreshed and he's doing a great job in heat number one. He's going to take the victory. Second place goes to Luke Bruce Priest. Just a third spot for Oliver Greenwood. That's a, rather a shock, having seen how, ridden he's, how well he's ridden here this season. Nothing but Benji Compton at the back. The two number ones in third and fourth. The two number ones first and second. Aaron it was who uh, did superbly well to uh, take the victory and uh, play the very good sized crowd here tonight for, for this fixture. Be delighted with the start that Aaron's made in uh, heat number one. Mm, shame that Benji couldn't get in the points as well. Race number two, next one up. And this one sees Jason Garrett off gate number one. Ryan Terry Daly comes out off gate number two. Danny Ayres is off at gate number three. Martin Nucky comes out off at gate number four. Danny, he scored paid nine at Kings Inn in that fixture at last to Kent fixture. Jason just scored paid two. And he'll be hoping for much more than that tonight. The reserves could be a key here this evening. Pretty tense here at Central Park tonight. Kent, not only will they be wanting to win, they'll be wanting to get, well, right about a 10, 12 point lead if they can. Heat number two, oh, there's problems there. Danny Ayres, well, he moved just before the tapes went up. Chris Gay, oh, did he touch the tape? That's very tight. Wait, the referee's decision. And, uh, well, Chris Gay, he uh, saw nothing untoward there, so Danny gets a second opportunity. Heat number two, second time around. And uh, this time out of the start was the rider in white. It's Ryan Terry Daly has made a good start. There was a, well, a fractal bit of movement, and Chris Gay was one of the uh, more fastidious uh, referees. And, uh, well, calling that one back, I don't think uh, the team manager Coventry Storm would be too happy. As we get ready then, third time of asking 
Lawrence Rogers, the team manager for the Storm. As uh, we go into uh, go again with uh, heat at number two, then very, very tense down on the start line, as you can imagine. So they've beat some uh, crucial races coming up. Heat number two, the third time of asking. Let's see if they stay still before the tape drives. Oh, and well, Danny Ezzy made the well. I've got a bit of a fly there. And uh, Terry Daly most certainly did not, the New Zealand born rider. He uh, lifted out of the start and he's at the back, but it is Ayres who leads the way. I, uh, I think he may have done a little bit of rolling there out of the start, but Chris Kay has let it go. Whereas he's all worth three times is enough. We've got to go over our eyes. We never can get this meeting or this heat completed. Of course, we did have that famous 0-0 uh, zero, zero here earlier in the season in uh, heat number two. Yeah, about as rare as a spotted an albatross as the riders go down the back straight and it is Danny Ayres who leads the way Garrett in second place Martin Nucky the Cornishman back in third Terry Ryan Terry Daly in last place this is excellent for the CTA Fire Kings supporters their reserves doing a tremendous job here in heat number two as Danny he's going to come in and take a pretty comfortable victory perhaps a little bit lucky to have not had the race called back the home fans in the superbly appointed main grandstand they're delighted with that Danny taking the win Garrett second Nucky third Terry Daly a bit unfortunate there he finishes at the back a big 5-1 in heat number two then as the crowd, the home crowd, the vast majority of them. Len is to our left as well here this evening. Enjoyed watching the action here from this vantage point last week in the under-19s. Decided to come up here and watch it again with his Kent side. Heat number three, Luke Priest is the rider off at gate number one. Ben Morley off gate number two. Dan Greenwood off three. David Mason off gate number four. Of course, the planning application the hearing was on Thursday. It did not go Kent's way, unfortunately. It was uh, turned down to have a, well, an hour, only an hour extra facility they wanted. An hour later finish to 9.30 they asked for 10 but they would have accepted 9.30 but the councillors were well, those that did vote there's quite a few abstentions they voted 10 to 4 against and well, it was a very misrepresented hearing we understand it could well be an appeal we'll wait on uh, the ramifications of that Kent certainly got big plans to uh, move up a league for next season but that may have to be put on hold for a year he number three then priest off one got a good second his first ride Morley off two Greenwood off three Mason from the outside Ben has made a good start off of gate number two but Magic has not he's in last place Greenwood is in Daniel Greenwood is in second place of course two two Greenwoods in this uh, Coventry Storm side no relations of course as uh, in uh, out in front it is uh, Ben Morley who leads the way here he representing Kent along with Benji in the National League Riders Championship at the weekend at Rye House I'm sure there's plenty of Kent fans going along to support Ben and Benji plenty of support for Ben and David in this one but Magic well he's struggling at the back out in front though it is Ben Morley who leads the way he was superb at Kings Inn 12 days ago, only missed out on an 18 point maximum in his final ride. Brilliant, brilliant performance by him, led the side to that two point victory as he wins heat number three. Second place goes to the rider in white, sorry, yellow, that is Daniel Greenwood. Third spot to Luke Priest. David Mason, he finished at the back in that one, a three all. Kent still lead by. Four points, 11 points to seven in uh, heat uh, number three. Heat number four, and uh, the lineup uh, sees Martin Nucky off at uh, gate number one. Got a uh, third place in his first ride, Danny Ayres comes out off at gate number two started off with that brilliant win 
in his first outing. Maybe a bit fortuitous to have got away with a slight roll in at the third time of asking in that race, but he went on to claim a big three points. Gate number three, that sees James Sargent. He's one to watch here tonight. Very competent rider indeed is the youngster. He also rides for commentary. The Bill Base B's in the Elite League, one of the fast track riders. He's off gate number three from the outside. Simon Lambert, of course, now linked up with the King did in the Elite League for an injury to Lewis Rose. Heat number four is underway. Danny Ayers has made a brilliant start off at gate to number two. He's out in front of where here comes Sergeant around the outside. James has moved through into first base, but Ayers comes cracking him on the inside. Cracking action in heat number four as Danny Ayers, well, he's got no fear of reputations. He's come back past Sergeant and take out the lead. A very, very smooth piece of uh, passing on the inside there by the uh, Kent, Kent number six, seven. He really is uh, one of the most improved riders in the National League this season. He started off as a raw reserve and uh, well, he's had plenty of uh, balls uh, but he's always bounced back and he's learning all the time and he's looking great here in his first two rides. He started with a win. Looks like he's going to have another one here. James Sargent back in second. Passed by Danny Ayres, third place. It is Simon Lambert, Martin Nucky at the back. It's going to be a heat advantage for the home side. Listen to the cheers for the uh, from the home fans for the race winner there, Danny Ayres. Well, he was passed by Sargent on the outside. And then he got back through on the inside. A very fine piece of uh, passing there by Danny that uh, takes some doing to find a way back past uh, after you've been passed by a rider and uh, well the crowd uh, absolutely delighted with that from there number seven two rides and two wins a 4-2 for the home side and kent where well, they've opened up a six a handy six point lead after four races danny is the star man in the early heats We move on to heat number five then, David Magic Mason, what can he do off gate number one in this one, didn't score in his first ride, we haven't had any race winners so far off gate number one, Luke Priest comes out off gate number two for his third outing, he scored paid four from his first two rides, gate number three, that sees Ben Morley took a victory in his first ride and Oliver Greenwood, that surprising third in his opening ride, he comes out off uh, gate number four, Ian Glover, the start marshal, asking the riders to come up to line. Both these, so both these teams know how tense this meeting is. Every point vital between two very evenly matched sides. Heat number five then, we're about ready to go. Start marshal walks away, takes fly oh, all was that a bit of a a fly there by Ben Morley, Chris Gaywood, no he's not called it back, it's a Ben just at where he's at to decree that it was a fast gating start and Morley is who leads the way then from Green, Oliver Greenwood in second place, David Mason back in third, Luke Priest missed out at the start and he's in last place, it's another heat advantage for Kent and they're on a 4-2 again in this one and uh, well this would see them open up a handy eight point lead if it uh, stays like this it is Morley who uh, made one of his electric starts who uh, leads the way Oliver Greenwood delighted with his win here last week in the uh, British under 19 championship in uh, second place David Mason not able to make up any ground back in third Luke Priest he uh, looks like he's going to fail to score for the first time this evening he's at the back but it is Morley who's going to come round and uh, take the win. That's uh, two rides and two wins for the Kent at number four. Oliver Greenwood, another defeat by him. Ben made a great start from the gate number three. Oliver Greenwood was able to come round the outside of uh, Magic to move through in the second place, but it's a heat advantage for Kent. And, uh, well, they keep increasing that, that lead. They're now out in front by 19 points to 11. Ben Morley, huge favourite here at uh, Central Park. And the crowd delighted with his start. He joins Danny Ayres, has been unbeaten after his first two. Heat number six, next one up. James Sargent comes out off at gate number one. Benji Compton is off at gate number two. Ryan Terry Davies off gate number three. Aaron Baseby from the outside. 
Come to the young for a better one. Did oh, and that looks a bit of an unsatisfactory start. Indeed, the red flags are on immediately. The lights are out. Bit of uh, movement there, uh, practically by all the riders. Three of them at least. And we're going to go with the restart of heat number six. So oh, here we go again then. Benji Compton. What can he do off at gate number two? Had a race winner there. Had a couple of race winners so far off gate number two. Let's see what Benji can do. He hasn't made a good start. The rider on the inside though has had his James Sargent. He leads away. Aaron Baby, of course, had that great win in his first ride. He's trying to come around the outside of James, but Sargent holds him off at the moment. It's a shared heat with Brian Terry Daly at the back with James Sargent. It is who leads the way, beaten by Danny Ayres in his first ride. But he looks if he could be getting his first victory. He wasn't here earlier in the season when Coventry came to town. They did have a somewhat defeated a mate, a bit of a make do side on that occasion. They had a few injury problems when they came to town here. Back in June, they went down by 53 points to 37, did the storm. But when Kent visited Brandon, they also went down by 54 points to 39, but that was way back in May, so a lot of water. And laps have been ridden, have been, lots of water have been passed, and the bridge and laps have been ridden. Oh, I must have get these new teeth settled in at some stage. So no real bearing at that, it, that's what I'm trying to say. James Hudgens takes the win. Aaron Baysby second, Benji Compton third, Ryan Terry Daly at the back. A shared heat. The sporting Central Park crowd applaud James after his win. Heat number seven, Simon Lambert comes out of uh, gate number one. Gate number two, well, that's interesting. Young Ellis Perks gets an out in to see what he can do. Ride replacement, the number eight gets a ride. He broke well here, did Ellis, in the uh, under-19 championship here last uh, Monday. So being given a chance to see what he can do. He's off gate two, Jason Garrett off three. Daniel Greenwood from the outside as out of the start. was a great start there by Simon Lambert. He leads away. Jason Garrett has come around to join him as well. But here comes Greenwood around the outside of Garrett. He's moved through in the second place. Perks is at the back, but Simon Lambert, it is who leads the way. Daniel Greenwood ran a second place in his first ride. And he's in second place in this one as well. He's in third place. It is Garrett. Ellis Perks is bringing up the rear. Here's a shared heat. It's a 4-2, sorry, for the home side. In heat number seven, this could put them 10 points in front as uh, Simon Lambert uh, heads towards victory. Well, he most certainly does hope got just over a lap in which to hold on as they come around, take the chicken to take the one lap to go flag. And it's uh, Jason Garrett holding off Ellis Perks as well for that third place. It's a 4-2 for the home side. They're steadily building that lead, but Lawrence Rogers, of course, will be able to bring out the black and white helmet as uh, Ken Booth, 10 points clear. Lambert takes a victory, two points goes to Greenwood, one to Jason Garrett, Ellis Perks, nothing for him. Daniel, well he had to find a way past Jason. Kent were momentarily on a 5-1, but uh, coming through into second place. 26-16, cries of Lambo ring round from the whistle gang. And an uh, excellent race win there for the skipper in uh, heat number seven. Now oh, that's one way to uh, watch your speedway through your tablet. And uh, I'll just uh, take a look at the action as the riders are coming out for heat number eight. Not really supposed to do that, but well, not, it won't be up to our high standards, so we'll let them carry on as uh, the riders out uh, on track then for heat number eight and uh, Lawrence Rogers where he has resisted the temptation to uh, bring out the black and white helmet in this one Martin Nucky comes out uh, off gate number two Luke Priest taking his ride he ran a last in his previous ride that's probably why he hasn't got it he's off gate four Danny and where it's a very strong partnership of course for Kent Danny is off two unbeaten Aaron Baysby off four three and uh, Martin Nucky well I'm afraid that's 
is it going to be a tape disqualification for him going into the tapes there with that front wheel and no doubts about that will he start off 15 meters or will the other reserve come in and well they're at it again now it's the well, it could be the nens having a go now oh standing up to get a shot we're gonna to have to put a stop to this aren't we well, we let it go again heat number eight uh, Lawrence Rogers has net, not let Martin Nucky go again. He has made a reserve switch. Ryan Terry Daly comes out in this one to replace Nucky. The revised lineup. Bates airs off one. Terry Daly off two. Baseby off three. Priest from the outside. Head to be looking to get a heat advantage in this one as they exit the second turn. It's a good ride this by Luke Priest. He's moved through into first place. Here comes Aaron Baseby around the outside of Danny Ayres and he's trying to get around the outside of Priest as well. A tremendous ride by Baseby. That's lifted the grandstand almost, the roof off the grandstand almost here at Central Park as Baseby leads the way from. Priest in second place, Danny Ayres in third. It's another heat advantage for Kent, and this would see the move 12 points in front. They really are doing a great job on Coventry in the first half of this uh, first leg of the National League playoff semi final. As uh, Aaron Baseby, what a meeting he's having. This will be eight points from his uh, first three rides. Danny Ayres having a great night as well. This will be seven, and he's trying to find a way past Luke Priest, so they go down the back straight for the final time the checkered flag is out and it's going to be victory for Baysby second place goes to Priest third spot to Danny Ayres a brilliant piece of overtaking there by the Kent number two man of Kent as well local lad from Mason I believe it is he's come around the outside there of Luke Priest in thrilling fashion he takes his second win of the night and that's another heat advantage for Kent they're now 12 points in front Seven races remain. A very, very handy lead, but of course it does mean that uh, Lawrence Rogers can bring out the black and white helmet in the next race, but uh, Aaron won't be bothered about that at all. He'll just be pleased that he's got a race win in uh, his third ride. Next one up then, heat number nine, and uh, this one where it sees the unbeaten uh, Ben Morley coming out off gate number one. James Sargent, he comes out in the black and white helmet. Kent will be hoping to nullify that in this one. Of course, uh, James, if he beats a Kent rider, his points will count double. Magic Mason comes out off gate number three. Just one point so far for David. he will be hoping to make one of his fast starts off a of three. And from the outside, Martin Nucky, he replaces Ryan Terry Daly in this one. And in fact, they in effect they swapped at Rolls last race, of course, what with Martin touching the tapes. So Kent, where well, they'll be hoping that Ben can make one of his fast starts on the inside, and, and also David Mason, if they could possibly. Well, I'm sure they'd, they'd settle for a four all in this one. With uh, James in the black and white helmet, he's had he scored five points so far. Second, he had a good win last time out. See what happens, heat number nine is underway and Ben Willey really looks as like if he's made a bit of a flyer there from the inside. This time he hasn't uh, got away with it. And uh, Chris Gay has pulled the riders back, bit of roll in there out of the start. So it's a very, very tense uh, atmosphere here at uh, Central Park. So we're going to go again. And indeed the rider in blue there, Brim Williams on uh, PA duties here this evening and Ben just being warned there by Ian the start marshal here at, at Central Park also does the job at Lakeside and Eastbourne as well and uh, we're talking to Lakeside John Cook is here this evening a guest of uh, Roger and Len taking a look at uh, this circuit for, uh, and stadium for the first time ever we uh, just had a word with him and he's very, very impressed indeed. He's saying to us off camera with the facilities and also the racing here at uh, Sittingbourne as uh, Kent attempt to make it through to the uh, playoff uh, final. Heat number nine, second time of asking. Sergeant has got some lift. Rawley has made a good start. He leads the way. Cam Mason comes through on the inside. Here comes Sergeant around the outside of Rawley. He's moved through in the first place. 
An excellent piece of riding there by James. For a moment it looks as if Kent could uh, possibly get a heat of, or get a shared heat with the sergeant back in second place, but a brilliant piece of riding by him to uh, come around the outside of Morley. He takes up the lead then. Ben in second place. David is uh, back in third. Martin Nucky at the back. So it's a 6-3 for the visitors then. The commentary stall. This will close the gap to nine points, but still a very handy lead to, for Kent to have with uh, six races remaining on the final lap. James Sargent looks if he's going to get his second race victory in a row. He leads down the back straight as uh, they come round and uh, he takes the checker flag. Fine piece of riding by him. He wins the race, ball his second, Mason third with uh, Nucky at the back. Sergeant, we did well to win that race. He got some lift from his front wheel out of the start, but was still at the speed down the back straight to find a way past Ben, who will not be pleased that he was overtaken there by Sergeant. A big six points uh, for the Coventry number five, a 6-3 then, 33 to Kent, 24 to Storm, who get their first heat advantage of the night. So the riders out for heat number 10 then, and this one, well it sees Aaron Baysby coming out off. Gate number one, he's been in great form so far. Gate number two sees Dan Greenwood, he scored paid four from his or four from his first two rides. Gate number three was a big call by Johnny Sanford, the team manager of Kent. He's taken their, his number one. Benji Compton out of his third ride and he's replaced him with the inform reserve Danny Ayres. That's a very rare occurrence indeed. From the outside it is James Sargent. He uh, takes his uh, fourth ride I mean, uh, scored a second and two victories. Of course, Gaming have got a big six points in his last ride. Danny Ayres, what can he do? Off at gate number three, a big call by the team manager. Heat number ten is underway and into that first bend. Greenwood's made a good start off at two. And uh, well, he, uh, James Sargent has not, he's at the back. Danny Ayres and uh, Aaron Baysby are in second and third at the moment. As Ayres, well, he's gone out very wide indeed. But he's still holding on to that third place. Uh, Aaron Baysby's moved through in the second spot. Out in front, though, is Dan Greenwood who leads the way. Aaron, oh, Danny Ayres, well, he's had problems there. And he's uh, dropped to the back as James Sargent came through. Perhaps just a little bit uh, over exuberant there from Danny. He's ridden so well tonight that can't, certainly can't criticise him. He's at the back out in front for the first time tonight is Daniel Greenwood. He leads the way from Aaron Blake. Yeah. Another good ride in second place. James Sargent is back in third. He's a 4-2 for the Storm. This could close the gap to seven points with five races remaining. And that's exactly what's going to happen because uh, it is a 4-2 for the visitors. Uh, Danny, well he was in third place but hit problems. And uh, Sergeant came through. Dan Greenwood though gets his uh, first win of the night. Coventry, well he's starting to get back into this match. Now just seven points be two, between the two teams. Two thirds of the way through this enthralling encounter. Heat number 11 up next. Riders out on track then for heat number 11. Great atmosphere here tonight under the floodlights. Really does look so much better under the floodlights here at Central Park. Oliver Greenwood, he comes out off gate number one. Hasn't had a win so far in his first two rides. That's a very unusual, very surprising. He's got, he has still scored paid four though, so certainly not been a disaster. Simon Lambert comes out off gate number two, a third and a win for the sign for Lambo so far. Gate number three, Luke Priest. He's uh, done pretty well so far. Paid six from his four rides from the outside. Jason Garrett, who's uh, scored paid four from his first uh, two. Heat number 11, the big race is coming up. The heat gets underway. Greenwood made it well. He has made a good start in this one. He uh, has got his gating gloves back on. He's out in front from Lambert in second place. Luke Priest is in third. Jason Garrett is uh, at the back. It's another heat advantage for the Storm. This will be their third in a row. If it stays like this, and they should see them close the gap to just five points. So they're certainly coming back into this match as uh, out in front. It is the rider in 
White and that is Oliver Greenwood who leads the way. Second place, Simon Lambert having to give her second best here. He'd have been over to take a victory in this one, but it's not to be. But they're on the final lap. In third place, it is Luke Priest, Jason Garrett struggling in this one. So it is a 4-2 for the visitors then. Their third heat advantage in a row. And the gap, well, it is now close to just five points as uh, Oliver Greenwood, he wins his first race of the night. Simon Lambert in second, Luke Priest an important point in third ahead of Jason Garrett, 37-32 is the score, with five, four races remaining, cracking win there for Oliver. So heat number 12, next one up, and uh, this one where it uh, sees uh, Ryan Terry Daly coming out off gate number one. David Mason not had one of his best nights tonight by far. He's off gate number two. Dan Greenwood had an excellent win in his last ride. Heat number 10, he's off gate number three. And uh, from the outside, Danny Ayres comes out for his program ride. Disappointed to have uh, failed to score. and been given the responsibility of replacing Benji Compton a couple of uh, heats ago. See what he can do off at gate number four, 37-32. Very, very tense here at Central Park. Heat number 12 is underway. And into that first bend, and it is Mason who's made his best start of the night. He leads the way. Danny Ayers has come through in the second place. So Kent, well, they're on a big 5-1 here in uh, heat number 12 in third place. It is uh, Dan Greenwood. Here comes Greenwood on the inside of Mason. He's managed to split the CTA fire. Keeps pairing. David will not be pleased with that. He just locked up ever so slightly coming out of the fourth bend. And uh, that's allowed uh, Dan Greenwood through into uh, second place. But Danny Ayers, well, it looks like being a return to winning ways for him. He's held in front from Dan Greenwood in second, Mason back in third, Terry Daly at the back, it is a return to the heat advantage for Kent, they had uh, many in the first uh, half of the meeting, four four twos and a 5-1, it looks like they're going to get their 4-2 in heat number 12, and this would bring them back into a 7 point lead with 3 races remaining, 3 big races coming up, Danny Ayres, so that's going to be 3 wins, Oh, for him this evening, well done to Danny, that was a super ride to defeat Daniel Greenwood who'd won his last outing, David Mason just a point in third, the home side were on a 5-1 but they couldn't hold their position and uh, a good pass there on the inside by Dan Greenwood to get up into second place but Danny is another victory for him. He really is so, so popular here. Every chance he's going to be the Kent Rider of the Year, I would say. Super stuff by Danny. David, he got one point, would have been open for two, but say the seven point lead, three races remaining. And they build on that. Heat number 13, next one up, some big races. Benji Compton comes out to take his third program ride. Hasn't been his night tonight, nor David Mason. To a meeting that uh, the two uh, senior members of the side would have hoped to have led from the front. But unfortunately, it's Speedway, and it doesn't always work that to, in that way, of course. So what can Benji do off gate number one? Oliver Greenwood comes out off gate number two. He won his last ride. Gate number three, see Simon Lambert. He was beaten by... Oliver a couple of races ago from the outside. James Sargent, he's had a couple of victories. Uh, second, uh, third, only third last time out. Big, big race coming up. The, no surprise that the uh, riders taking their time getting ready for this one. This could make or break either of these teams at seasons at these next three races. Of course, we've still got the second leg to come. Heat 13 is underway, and Compton has made a great start. Simon Lambert is there as well. Lambo moves through in the first place. Here comes James Sargent around the outside of his teammate, Oliver Greenwood. And when he's come down there, a fall there for James Sargent. And when he's not happy with that, but, uh, well, I think he's only really got himself to blame there. He's... Uh, uh, maybe blame him at his team partner to an extent and uh, well he's pointing to someone and uh, well, I'm not sure he's, I don't think it's Benji could be Benji Condon but I don't see why 
James uh, was well, very tight deep going down the back straight three abreast going into that corner Benji Compton well he certainly didn't do anything wrong Oliver Greenwood was uh, stuck in the middle and uh, James we well, just came off there so I don't, so I don't think he's got anyone to blame he has been disqualified by referee Chris Gay and uh, we were going with the three remaining riders so Oliver Greenwood out by himself in the restart of this one then what can he do against uh, Benji Compton who made a good gate but uh, couldn't hold his position he was at uh, he'd just been passed by Oliver and uh, James uh, at the time when uh, Sergeant fell he's off uh, inside gate position and uh, well, finger now chewing the times here is uh, Terry Russell the uh, Ghost Speed Supremo just looking on Chris Hunt as well it looks like, uh, is that Chris, the uh, team manager? I imagine he should be in, he'd be in the pits actually, but perhaps just a look alike. Heat number 13, the rerun gets underway and into that first bend. Well, it is the uh, riders in red who lead the way, but here comes Oliver Greenwood around the outside. He's found a way past Compton. He takes the lead from uh, Compton in second place. Lambert back in third. Lambo, of course, when he was leading when the race was stopped first time around. How often does it happen when a race is rerun that the original race leader does not go on to lead in the rerun? It's happened here in this heat number 13 of this National League playoff semi final first leg at Central Park. Oliver Greenwood looks as like if he's going to claim his second victory of the evening, second in a row. He's starting to find his form after a couple of indifferent rides by his high standards. He leads the way going into the last lap. Kent would have hoped for a heat advantage to build up that seven point lead Coventry will be delighted with a three all in this one they'll be delighted with their number one and British under 19 champion Oliver Greenwood he wins heat number 13 second place goes to Benji Compton his best ride of the meeting Simon Lambert in third it is a, th a three all in heat number 13 the lead remains at seven points Compton made the start but Oliver Greenwood came around the outside to take up the lead which he never relinquished a three all 44 37 two heats remain heat 14 next one up Dan Greenwood comes out off gate number one he's had a good night so far nine points from his four rides Danny Ayers so is he he's off gate number two he replaces Jason Garrett in this one extra ride for Danny he's had three wins a third and a last off gate number three we've got Martin Nucky who's scored just a point so far and from the outside Ben Morley who's had uh, two wins in a second place Ben he'll be hoping to uh, take another win here that's no doubt about that Kent will be looking to uh, towards a heat advantage perhaps a 4-2 or even maybe a 5-1 the way that uh, Danny has been going this evening Kent are off gates two and four commentary off one and three Dan Greenwood from the inside Martin Nucky off three, Ayers off two, Morley nearest us. Heat number 14, another crucial race gets underway and it is the rider in white. Dan Greenwood has made the best start, he leads the way from Ben Morley in second place. Danny Ayers in third, Martin Nucky is at the back. Here comes Morley on the inside of Dan Greenwood. He's challenging as, oh, as uh, Danny Ayers got it in problems there and he's been passed by Martin Nucky. Nucky is at... Uh, Danny's found a way back past with it. Nucky's come back on the inside, cracking at him for third place in uh, heat number 14. Two races going on, Morley challenging. Dan Greenwood out in front. Nucky comes back through into third place. What a race is Oh no, and uh, well, Danny is. He brings off uh, Martin Nucky there, and I'm afraid that will be a disqualification for the unfortunate Danny. Cracking, cracking racing in uh, heat number 14. Shame we didn't get to see all four laps. As Danny and uh, well, he really did have a terrific duel here with uh, his opposite number, but then when he got past, the, uh, well, he well, it does bring him down. Red lights on immediately, and the blue exclusion light on for the unfortunate Danny. That's his evening over. Unlucky in heat 14. So Ben Morley, well, he's going to have to see if he can take a victory off gate number four. He didn't make a great gate first time around. Plenty of incidents here tonight, we had some cracking action once more this evening as uh, the riders settle at the start line. So Kent, obviously the best they can do in this one is a shared heat with Morley 
the sole representative for the home side, Dan Greenwood. He made a good start off gate number one and was leading when the race was stopped, although he was under a lot of pressure from Morley. He says number 14 gets underway pretty even break going into that first bend but Greenwood has got the run to the first bend. He leads the way, Morley in second, Nucky back in third. A race that Kent would have hoped for a heat advantage from. Looks like it could be a heat advantage for the stall of Coventry and then Morley can find a way past as the riders go down the back straight on the second lap and it is Daniel Greenwood who leads away then from in second place Ben Morley for Daniel this will be his second win of the night and uh, well, this will give him 12 points and 5 rides every chance he's going to earn himself a race in the uh, nominated heat as well Oliver Greenwood well I'm sure he's going to get an extra out and it will be between the two Greenwoods and James Sargent oh, James ran a last or got disqualified in his last ride following his tumble out in front though it is Daniel Greenwood who leads the way Ben Morley just hasn't got the speed to find a way past that's an excellent race win for the Coventry number four over his opposite number third place goes to Martin Nucky a 4-2 for the Storm then and once again they reduce the gap to four points five points sorry just as it was after heat number 11 one race remaining will we see Dan out in the final race I'm sure we will see Ben and oh well they've got bored with the speedway so that's uh, it's time for a bit of CBB's play time ahead of uh, heat number 15 didn't have that in our day a crucial crucial race coming up heat number 15 then and uh, the two team managers well they have given their lineups for this final race from the inside we've got Simon Lambert off gate number one Simon has scored uh, paid eight from his four rides so far Dan Greenwood comes out off gate number two he scored paid 12 from or 12 points from his uh, five rides gate number three sees Ben Morley he has scored 10 from four beaten by Dan of course we just saw in heat number 14 and Oliver Greenwood off gate number five he has scored uh, Paid 10 from his four rides, including two wins in his last two outings. Kent, well, they'll be desperate for a heat advantage in this final race. Coventry, they can be very pleased with their efforts here this evening, having trailed by 12 points. After eight races, they come back very, very well indeed, showing a lot of fighting spirit to only trail by five points going into this crucial heat, number 15. Kent, well, they could end up put with a, a nine-point lead to Brandon for the October the 3rd showdown or the lead where it could be just a point now or anything in between we have got to wait and see heat number 15 big race coming up out of the start into that first turn Lambert's made a good gate he leads the way here comes Oliver Greenwood on the inside of Lambert but Lambert repels him around the outside Dan Greenwood is in third Ben Morley is at the back, he's chasing down the two Greenwoods, out in front though is Lambo, who leads Simon, he's only had one race win so far this evening, he'll be, he's certainly be hoping to get another one in heat number 15 and he is leading the way, but with the two Greenwoods in second and third, Ben Morley is at the back and it looks as if it could be a five point lead to uh, take to Brandon as Morley, well he's missed that Ben turn too quickly and that's put play to ch any chance he has surely in this final race as Simon Lambert, he's going to come round and uh, start uh, the final lap out in front. Oliver Greenwood in second, Daniel Greenwood in third. It's going to be a shared heat to finish with, and it's certainly been an enthralling uh, National League playoff semi-final here tonight. Simon Lambert wins the final race. Oliver Greenwood gets two points, Dan Greenwood gets one. Nothing for Ben Morley in the uh, final heat as uh, Simon Lambert well he took the victory very close between him and Oliver Greenwood down the back straight brave move there by Lambo. he takes the win a 49-44 victory for the home side to so a five point lead to defend in uh, 13 day or 11 days time will it be enough we we'll have to wait and see on that one but Kent well they have got the win here 49 points to 44 their riders will be out on the victory lap and we'll give you the evening scorers then
So here they come then, that's one of the men in the match, that's Danny Ayres, we'll give you Kent that scores. Danny, well he scored 10 points from his at 7 rides, Jason Garrett 3 and 1, Simon Lambert 10 and 1 from 5, Ben Maldi 10 from 5, David Mason just 3 and 1 from 4, Aaron Baseby did very well, 10 from 4, and Benji Compton well, struggled just 3 and 1 from his at 3 rides, pulled out of his 3rd ride of course for Coventry, Oliver Greenwood 11 and 1, Luke Priest 6 and 1, Daniel Greenwood did very well, top scoring with page 14. Jake Sargent, 12, including a big six-pointer. Ryan Terry Daly, he failed to score from his uh, four rides. And Martin Nucky scored just a point. Ellis Perks had one ride but failed to score. As uh, Danny continues round on the lap of honour, let's get into the pits and join Pete Hill. Um, case of what might have been, had a 12-point lead, ended up with five, still a win, but going to be tough. It's going to be uh, really tough. Coventry, a good side. Um, you know, lucky some of the boys have done well today. Um, we, uh, myself and uh, Benji, have not had a good meeting. Um, but you know, um, no excuses. But, yeah, I've got an excuse. I've been here all week, but yeah. But no, no excuses. Uh, you know, they 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 are a good team. But I mean, obviously, we've got to go to Coventry and and, and see if we can pull some of it back. We've got two doubles. It's not impossible. Um, you never know the lead up to then. Some of their riders might get injured. You don't know. You just, you know, it's it's going to be just see what happens. You know, we can sit back and hopefully they can make a few mistakes and you know we can uh, you know pull back on the points. You needed to make a good start. You did five heat wins uh, at the beginning. Uh, opened up twelve point lead. Yeah, well, you know, for me, I mean, this is probably the worst meeting I've had round here, and it couldn't have come at a worse time, really. I'd like to have had it about you know eight meetings ago or something. I would have been all right, but. You know, I haven't even come last round here this year, so um, I don't know. It, yeah, I mean, we were 12, 12 up, and that's speedway, isn't it? You know, uh, lucky as I say, some of the boys did well. Um, yeah, Aaron's had a good one. Ben, Ben's had a good one. You know, Simon's chipped in as well. You know, it's just it is a team effort, but you know, there was a couple of us that didn't do as well. We should have done not our normal kind of performance. So, yeah, um, it's speedway, isn't it? it it's, it's 12 points down, and it's just one of those things, isn't it? Those double pointers can change meetings. I think the tide began to turn after Heat 9 when James Sargent came out. Yeah, I mean, uh, he came out, he's, uh, yeah, he got the double. They, they love moving at the start here. They, they, they like anticipating as well. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just one of them things, isn't it? We, we, we have all tried our best and, you know, we can't, we can't do any more, really. I was going to ask about the starts. I mean, there was a bit of nerves at the start. I think we had six reruns, something like that. Yeah there, has, about. yeah, there has been, because everyone wants to win today. You know, this is the thing, you know, it's a playoff semi-final. They want to get to the final, whether Dudley are going to, you know, win or not, you know, whatever. But, um, you know, everyone wants to get the final. And we said before, we went with a track walk and we had a team meeting. And, you know, we said no matter what happens, if we can get there, then we just see what happens. You know, we just see what happens at that point. But, you know, we... As I say, you know, it's still nothing lost, but it is going to be quite an uphill. uphill but you know, we hopefully the, these boys can, you know, do their best and and hopefully outdo them. And so we've got a couple of doubles. You just, you know, there's always that in the bag. So um, fingers crossed. Yeah, you know, down now, but spirit's been good here this season. Just really got to get out for the third. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've said it all along. It's they, everyone has been brilliant this year. You know, it's such a good team, and we've bonded and bonded and. The, res the reserves, you know, Danny and Jay have got better and better as it's gone on, and, uh, and you know, they they're only going to do better next year. You know, whoever's going to land up with them, they're going to only just go on and do really well. You know, so yeah, and we, we all just kind of you know chip in and help out, and as I said, you know, we've, that's what's brought us to this bit. You know, it's brought us to the semi-final. But hey, you know, I'm not sure, but we just do our best. And finally, a quick word for the fans. I mean, uh, very enthusiastic, loud tonight followed you all season yeah they have and they have been good all year I'm just uh, apologise on my behalf now that you know I didn't do what I have been doing all year so uh, but I suppose it had to come at some point <laughs> um, but just the wrong time and you know if it, it wasn't for me trying you know I've done so much to me engine I've had my engine service I've had new clutch plates in today and it's just just didn't happen you know I was in the wrong place at the wrong time in heat 12 when I was in front and uh, someone graded the dirt and I hit that and then sort of near I flung me off and just 
had a bad one. So yeah, we can't, we can't, you know, we can't win them all, can you? So, um, but yeah, we'll just see. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate right. it. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Thank you. So that's it. The Kent Kings go to Coventry on the 3rd of October with a five-point lead. It could have been more, but still in front. We'll see what happens then. But for now, anyway, thanks for joining us.